This is the first U.S. presentation of an 18-month study of global limits to growth, sponsored by the Club of Rome with Volkswagen Foundation funding by an international team of 17 scientists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology under the direction of Dr. Dennis L. Meadows. During the last year, a group of us at MIT, the principal members of which are with me here today, have been looking at the exponential growth of our global social and economic system. We've been led to five basic conclusions. There are physical limits to growth which, given current trends, are very likely to be encountered even during the lifetime of our children. Second, the most likely outcome of running into these limits if we continue to ignore them and instead base our short-term policies on the assumption of continued growth is that we'll overshoot those limits and collapse. The third conclusion is that we appear to have a viable alternative to this outcome one in which population and material production could be brought into balance with a finite environment and with our resources. Fourth conclusion is that it's realistically going to take a period of 50 years, 100 years or more, to reach that alternative in an orderly fashion. And finally, and I think this is extremely important, every year we delay beginning to form our goals and moving towards them makes an orderly transition to this stable situation much more difficult and it decreases our ultimate options.